Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. I told you that I will make a follow-up video and this is it. I have arrived in Norway. First of all I want to say big thanks to everyone who watched the Nissan series. Welcome to the new people that joined uh, our channel. Uh, hope you enjoy your stay here. So I've been here for some while and I've already managed to hoard some parts for the Nissan. I picked up this locally. It's like GK Tech springs for the gearbox uh, shifter. That might help me with my second gear, but most likely I need to change the gearbox. Also, my bro actually, he helped me to pick up uh, Type-X taillights for the S13. I'm gonna put some video up here on the screen so you can see. Um, other than that, nothing new has happened. Um, I've ordered a back lip for the IS200, like the OAM TRD lip. I'm gonna put it on the screen here as well. Um, yeah, so basically I've used a little bit of funds to buy some random stuff that popped up for good prices, but I haven't been focusing on the things that I need for the car and I'll try to do that. I need to order the brake kit for the rear end of the car. Yeah, I've been trying to find the gaskets for the S13 as well, windshield trim gasket and that stuff, but I still got a little bit time on me. Anyways, uh, the weather here is not so good. It's uh, cloudy and cold. I don't have a workshop here and uh, that quite limits the things that I can do here. It's like very gloomy and rainy, nothing much going on. It's going to be a little bit better weather tomorrow and I'll do a little walk around of my Lexus. I need to change the summer tires to winter tires. I need to clean the interior and do some other stuff. So stay tuned and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. What is up guys, just arrived home, been a long day at work, I need to get going and change so I can uh, change the tires before it gets too dark. So this is my sad little storage unit, as you have seen before. This is everything I have, it's my garage, got my winter tires here so I'm gonna take those. But yeah, I better get going and take the stuff out. So this is it, the end of the summer look. The car looks really dirty, the front discs are dirty as well. I have to say goodbye to the summer fitment and put on the winter tires. This car has been an absolute workhorse, been using it daily, hasn't really let me down. Interior fully trashed from driving, needs a good clean in the back as well, got the bags from the tires. So that's about it. I have to get going and put on the tires before it gets too dark. I just wanted to say it's pretty far, pretty damn cold here. It's like only plus 8 degrees and it's one of the last days before the snow comes. That's why I'm in a hurry. So yeah. Yeah, so here I am changing the wheels in a parking lot, doing it the old school way with uh, Jack. Um, it was a bit tricky because the car was standing in a slope and it kept rolling forward. So I had to find something to stuff between the wheel didn't took so much time and in the end i'm pretty happy that i put the winter wheels because they're much lighter and uh, so that way the car feels more responsive and quicker oh man that was tiresome huh, get it tiresome <laughs> time to sip some juice this is how the car will be sitting for the rest of the winter i might jack it up because previous winter i had problems with the height i was getting stuck had to call my friends to rescue me and pull me out big thanks for that but I'll try to maybe lift the car a little bit to avoid those problems. Other than that, it's quite nice. Actually, I'm a big fan of the original wheels. They fit really nice the car. And it's not like they're ugly. You just need to get maybe some spacers so they stick a little bit more out. It's not too bad. It should be good to go. Just unloaded the car. It's sitting a little bit higher. Now, since I still got some daylight left, I thought I could clean up the interior. It's super messy. I'm just gonna show you it in a minute. You might be wondering what the hell is that thing? So that is actually my vacuum cleaner. It looks like a fucking Ghostbusters pod or like the gun from Overwatch what May has, like that's icicle gun. <laughs> it's really funny. But it's what I have, so I'll have to use it. Some people be like, oh you have all these cool cars, you must have it easy in the simple life. No bro, I'm just the same as everyone else. I'm living in a flat, I don't have a place for my car, I work in a parking lot. 
I don't have any electricity here. I don't even have electricity outside my block. So, so yeah, I'm just the same as you all guys. So, <laughs> yeah, I just vacuumed my car with a uh, floor uh, stick vacuum cleaner. Use what you have laying around the home. You don't need to spend a bunch of money f just for the car. Okay, so now the car is vacuumed. It's looking a bit nicer. The rear seats still look bit trash, so they need cleaning. I'll do that right ahead. And all the plastics in the interior needs to be cleaned. I will be using Autoglin Vinyl and Rubber Care. Not sponsored, but uh, I recommend this product. It's really nice and easy to use. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, put this on and I'll show you the final product. Everything is looking nice and clean. All the plastics are nice and shiny. I cleaned up the paddles, the sills, these places, the size of the seats where you mostly get dirt. So it looks really nice and clean. Same in the back, clean up the seats, really nice and clean. So I've noticed that from the storage, the tires are very low on air. So I'm going to drive to the local gas station, pump them up, and I might as well wash the car while it's still somewhat bright. I put uh, 2.1 bars in front and I put 2.0 on the back to have a little bit more traction. If I go sliding I'll probably bump that up to 2.3 in the back so it slides a bit better but uh, for now I'm going to keep those settings. It's time to hit the shower. Oh man I'm so hungry I had to go and grab a hot dog so I'll munch on that and I'll do the washing. So I ended up spending only 50 krones, and that's like four or three and a half euros, something like that. I started with the shampoo, then I washed it with the hand and uh, I rinsed it one time with the water and then I just used the rest of the money to put the wax on. Alright guys, I think this is going to be it for today. I'm quite tired, it's already late. I still need to edit this video and do some exercise and make some food, so oof, it's gonna be a long day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, leave it a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.